Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna attempt making a basket out of brambles and ivy. I thought I could attempt making this basket for the first time with you whilst I answer some of the questions that you asked on Patreon and on Instagram. I have never done a basket like this. The only baskets that I know how to make are pine needle baskets. So I have a book here that I bought many, many years ago that talks about traditional um, basket making crafts. And <laughs> I also have YouTube. I think I'm gonna follow a mix of both and we'll see what comes out of it. You don't seem to fear any challenge, but I'm sure we all have fears. Do you have any? I definitely have my fears. I would say the first one <laughs> is jellyfishes. Jellyfishes, jellyfish uh, absolutely terrorize me. I think I'm afraid definitely of failure, of not being able to do the things that I do. The reason why I keep challenging myself is also to prove to myself that I can do it. Then the second one would be uh, finding myself in a situation where I lack independence. I find myself in a situation where I feel like trapped. Um, and then thirdly, I think that I'm afraid of being misunderstood, which is kind of funny because I put myself in a situation online where it's really easy to be misunderstood. Yeah, I think those are my three main fears. I've got the base, the button, and now I can start working on the width of the base with the IV. And I think I could use some of the thinner brambles too. Um, and all you need to do is just to go up and down through the stakes and to kind of space them um, evenly. Everything was going too well. I just realized that I made a mistake. Uh, I need to start from scratch again because I realized that I didn't have an uneven number of stakes and as you can see it wasn't alternating between them it was always going down and up on the same stakes and it actually needs to go like alternating through them it will make sense when I do it again whilst I undo this I'm gonna answer another question which is are you gonna keep the foster dog I've already answered like the uh, fostering situation on another video that I'll link down below but no, I don't think that I'm gonna be keeping Zuka. Um, I have my reasons. I am open to get another dog when I find the right one. And I think that I just need to trust my gut in terms of when I'll know that it's the right dog. Because um, with Odi, I had like a straight away, he was my dog. Like as soon as I saw him, I didn't have any doubts whatsoever. And now I am a bit more like reluctant on to making the commitment because I realized how challenging it can be at times to own a dog uh, when you live on your own and how limiting it can be. It's also very rewarding, don't get me wrong, and I will get a dog eventually, but I just want to make sure that it's the right one. Um, you don't want to force things <laughs> with dogs. I'm in a rush because honestly, I love fostering and I love seeing those dogs finding homes. Um, those are dogs that would rot in kennels otherwise, so I'm very happy to help till I can. Look, my base is done. Honestly, it went so fast. I guess I'm used to pine needle basket standards. <laughs> that takes forever. I'm so pleased now I can start working on the on the walls, like going up on the walls. So apparently all you need to do is to bend the, the bones upwards. I'm really, really scared of breaking them. So I'm gonna try and be very gentle. Gonna answer another one of your questions. I actually got quite a few about eating vegan, which I was surprised about, because I never really went into details. I don't think I ever said that I eat vegan on YouTube, but maybe you, you, realized by just watching my videos um, I've never really went into details because I find it such a polarizing um, topic and a lot of people get really triggered and angry by it and I cannot be bothered to like explain myself um, since I really have to do that a lot in real life but I have filmed um, a video just on this on 
Patreon. Um, on Patreon, I'm putting more like um, personal stuff, uh, stuff that maybe don't have a place in the main channel. But to go on to your question, um, you asked, Evan Bees uh, asked, what are your tips for eating vegan while traveling? Honestly, just go to do your food shopping before you go places and just rely on supermarkets and like grocery stores because uh, eating out as vegan is still kind of hard in most places, especially in rural places and I wouldn't rely on their menu. Um, although, if you ask and you explain, after a bit of discussing, you might be able to just get a plate of um, white pasta or like potatoes, but then you have to spend like 50 euros for a plate of potatoes, so probably we won't, you don't want to do that. So my tip is honestly, just rely on grocery shopping and bring as much food with you as you can. Look at this, I am amazed. Um, as you can see, I've done the bottom with the brambles and then the sides, I started with the ivy and I'm finding the ivy a lot more brittle and it doesn't hold as much because I think the ivy is a lot thinner. I should have used thicker ivy or used more steaks for this width of basket. And at the bottom here, I kind of struggled with the change of direction to go upwards. But honestly, like I can work with this. Um, I'm gonna build a little bit more of height and then I'm gonna finish it off. Is it hard to make friends if you move to rural part of north of Italy? I would say that making friends as an adult is a difficult period. <laughs> Wherever you are, it's difficult. Especially if you are self-employed and you don't have colleagues like me, then it's even extra hard because you don't have the added opportunity of perhaps making friends to, through colleagues. I do have friends that live not too far, but they live far enough that we don't see each other very often. So I'm, I am trying to make like more local connections and for them, a plan of action for this year, it's going to be to start a lot of courses in September um, about topics that I like. For example, last year I done a pottery course. I think I'm gonna make another one this year. I might do an alpinism, like climbing um, safety course. So that is really my option for meeting new friends. I think what I need to do is to fit those inside, like bend them and then put them inside. I hope I can do that, otherwise I'm just gonna snip them off. Smile Caroline asks, do you get anxious? If so, what are some steps you take to ground yourself in moments of high anxiety? I don't know if what I feel is anxiety or stress. I don't quite know the difference, but um, yes, there's definitely moments where I'm like extremely overwhelmed and stressed or anxious i'll have to check the definition after this video uh, in those moments the best thing to do is exercise although it is the last thing that you want to do and it's really really hard to force yourself but honestly that is the only thing that helps uh, whether it's going out like for a walk a run i I really enjoy samba. I've, it's been two years now that I like practice samba and that that like gives me back the joy of life. Honestly, if you never tried to listening some some like strong like batucada percussions, to me they are like the best thing ever. So that's what I do when I feel anxious or stressed. I dance or like run or go for like a long walk. And secondly, I make lists of stuff because I Often the reason why I get stressed uh, or anxious is because I feel like there's too much I want to do and I get like, oh, like I will never be able to do all those things and I want to do all those things and I'm like confused. Uh, and so I make lists of like priority and I know it sounds so boring, but in my brain, my brain really needs that because I'm so scattered and I cannot hold everything in my head so making lists really helps reducing my stress levels or anxiety levels. Look! <laughs> my first finished basket. Okay, it's not straight, it's a bit wonky. We don't care. We're gonna make uh, more proportionate ones eventually. But honestly, really pleased with this, uh, especially considering that it took me about three hours and uh, a pine needle basket takes me eight hours and it's this big. I'm gonna see if I have 
a plant like a vase that's this size that I can put inside or maybe I can use it as a fruit bowl but in the meantime I'm gonna answer the last question which is not really a question it's more like a, an advice uh, request which is I really want to sell my mortgage house and use the equity to buy land or even just live in a van. The leap feels huge though and fear gets the better out of me but I know it's the right move to do. I maybe just need to do it and be scared, a bit scared for a while. I think that you answered your own <laughs> question, Stephen. I think it's totally natural to be scared. You wouldn't be human if you didn't feel some kind of uh, worry or, or fear. Um, but you have to remember, like, fear is a, a mechanism that wants to protect us. But sometimes it's it's a little bit too loud, and we have to overwrite it. Um, because otherwise we wouldn't be doing anything we wouldn't try to get out of our comfort zone ever and I truly think that the best things come out when you get out of your comfort zone and that's when the most growth happens and you learn the most so I think that yes you definitely need to do it and um, be scared for a little while although obviously don't do anything stupid like think it through think it through your financial situation and always always have a plan B if this didn't work out what would you do instead uh, but I think that living with the wonder of how your life would have been if you did the things that you did wanted to do it's a really slow painful death <laughs> like it's torture at least if you try you know you'll know whether it worked out or not if you never try then you're gonna live with the doubt some plants <laughs> okay we have two choices this is the first plant that I bought when I got the house and it's still very much alive but it never did puppies like it's uh, supposed to be I think it's a spider plant it's supposed to do puppies it never did let's see how it looks Ooh, not bad not bad let's see with just the normal Photos. This might be a bit too tall. Oh, I don't mind this either. Oh, I think I like this. Oh, I think I like this. Yep, that's the one. I'm gonna keep practicing with the baskets and once I feel ready I might film a video like a detailed video on how to make it and how to collect the materials but in the meantime I hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you very soon bye